Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. What is network prefix length? Imagine you're trying to find a specific house in a vast neighborhood. You need a clear address to navigate there efficiently. In computer networks, the concept of a prefix length serves a similar purpose, helping devices find their way around the network. When we talk about IP addresses, whether it's IPv4 or IPv6, the prefix length is a crucial piece of information. It tells us how many bits of the IP address are dedicated to the network portion. For example, in an IPv4 address like 172.6.40/24, the slash 24 indicates that the first 24 bits of the address are used for the network part. This notation is known as CIDR, Classless Interdomain Routing Notation. It helps in determining the subnet mask, which is essential for defining the boundaries of a network segment and for efficient routing. The subnet mask uses 1s and zeros to indicate which bits are for the network and which are for the host. In IPv6, the concept is similar, but with much larger addresses. For instance, an address like 2001 db 8 a 164 tells us that the first 64 bits are the network portion, leaving the remaining 64 bits for the host portion, known as the interface ID. The prefix length is not fixed and can vary depending on the needs of the network. For example, a 24 prefix in IPv4 leaves 8 bits for the host portion, while a 64 prefix in IPv6 leaves 64 bits for the host portion. This flexibility allows network administrators to manage and organize IP addresses efficiently, ensuring that the right number of devices can be connected to the network. Understanding the prefix length is key to subnetting and routing. It helps in calculating the number of available addresses within a subnet and in determining the broadcast address for each network. So the next time you see an IP address with a slash followed by a number, remember that it's telling you how the network and host parts of the address are divided. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.